Hello everyone, in this video we will have a quick look at the new embedded code simulator of Adeco Cam. With this simulator we can select all or part of the machine code and see what the final result would look like. We can detect overdrive conditions where the tool might go lower than the thickness of the raw material and damage the machine or conditions in which a tool might be exceeding the boundaries of the part under processing and as well cutting a neighboring part unintentionally. Let's go to the third column where Adeco Cam calculates tool paths and generate machine code and pick up a job for demonstration. Right click on the machine code and select simulate all in order to call the cut simulator. Cut simulator will read the current virtual machine or your actual machine depending on the post processor you have and all its attached tools and without any setup it will be ready for calculation. You can start as many cut simulator windows as you wish for convenience. It pops up with some already set up parameters we can change before every simulation and we will mention what they are for but for now the only thing I need to do is to click on the start button. Within a few seconds or much more, depending on the complexity of the calculation, the result would be visible. On the left are drawn all the tools attached to the CNC in their actual sizes, each in a different color which is also used to color corresponding tool path as you can see. You can turn these things on and off as you wish. You can zoom and pan the view to see finer details of the workpiece. Color-coded regions on the workpiece represent surfaces processed by corresponding tools. The material itself is orange and it stays so as long as no tool cuts it. However, if a tool with a specific color touches the workpiece in a specific location and cuts a bit, only the cut region gets the color of the tool and maintains it until and if another tool with some other color further cuts the same region. As an example, this pale orange-yellow color is the color of the 90-degree V-shaped tool and therefore the surface it processes has the same color. And the color of the cylindrical tool which cuts this flat region as well as the notch here is magenta and so on. This way we targeted ease of traceability of the cutting operations especially when creating new and complicated door models. We can also see the workpiece in its realistic form. I start another simulator by right clicking on the NC code and selecting simulate all once again and this time choosing realistic view option before clicking on the start button. This would remove the color code and cast an MDF like surface onto the final result. An Adecocam simulation needs only four parameters to run. Quality factor, step, long step and cutout threshold. Quality factor has the inverse unit of resolution or in other words it defines how fine the result would look. It can be as high as possible for a small workpiece like this door model but it has to get smaller for large areas like cool plates as this parameter also defines how much physical computer memory to ask for the calculation. Step is the length of the jump every tool takes throughout the tool path that is the simulation step size. For better results, this parameter should be as small as possible and of course, the smaller this parameter is, the longer the simulation gets. Long step is the factor which multiplies the step dynamically during simulation for same depth long lines in order to shorten the simulation. This parameter, when used within proper ranges depending on the simulated area as well as the utilized tools, does not necessarily worsen the result, but it always shortens the time it takes to complete a simulation. Cutout threshold defines the maximum thickness of the material after any cut which is considered to have separated the piece from the stock material and hence the right color code in case of color coded view. For the best results, you probably better experiment with these parameters a bit and see their combined effects on the final result on your computer, which has a certain amount of computing power, number of cores, as well as memory. Now, instead of a single part, let's simulate a whole plate with many parts on. This plate has a dimensions of 3660mm to 1830mm. Once again, right-clicking on the machine code and selecting Simulate All to start yet another simulator window. Note that you can start as many simulator windows as the memory of your computer allows. As you realize, the quality factor came automatically set to its minimum value, which is 0 0.1. 
And this shows that the simulator acknowledges that the area to be simulated is large. Therefore, it is asking for the lowest amount of memory. Since every tool has a different color, every geometry feature on each workpiece has also a different color. Every 5mm diameter hole has the same yellow color, for example, or all the grooves made with the same tool has the same blue color. This might allow ease of visual inspection before actual manufacturing. This is relatively a long NC code file. We might need to simulate only a part of it or remove a part of it. We also might want to continue an operation after it is interrupted halfway through by an electricity cut or by a tool breakage, such that we might need to understand what lines of code correspond to which region on the plate. In such cases, all I need to do is to select only a part of the code and invoke the simulator with simulate selected. The only catch is that the first line of a selected NC code should start with an M6 command, which means take the tool. Otherwise, the simulator will not know with what tool the first lines will be executed. You can also left-click first to point, and then right-click to get the context menu and select mark from top to here to select NC code from the beginning, which is useful for long files. After selecting, right-click again, and this time select Simulate Selected to start the simulator for only the selected NC code. As you can see now, the majority of the features are not present in the final result. Let's now isolate the Smart Cut Sizing section of the NC code to inspect how successful it is. There are two ways to do that. The first is to disable all other layers, generate NC code only for the sizing layer and send all the code to the simulator. The second method, which is also the one we will follow here, is to produce NC code for all the layers, mark the relevant part out of the NC code on the right hand side and send the selected code to the simulator. I can at least move the panel layer to the top such that finding it would be easier. Regenerating the toolpath set as well as NC code, going to the code view and selecting from the beginning till the next tool change. The next tool change is marked with M6 command as I mentioned earlier. Sending selected code to the simulator and starting it. As you can see, nothing but the sizing operation is simulated, leaving any other features out, like holes, grooves and other door model features. A DecoCam Cut Simulator can also detect and warn against overdive conditions where the tool goes down too much such that it exceeds the material thickness and starts to cut more than the workpiece. In such cases, regions in which cutting tool dives too much and exceeds material thickness are marked with red and are made visually hard to miss. Let's now create this quite usual error from within a DecoCam manually in order to demonstrate this overdive detection feature. I'm going back to the panel layer, unchecking this checkbox and entering 30 whereas the material thickness is only 18. Any value more than 18, therefore, would successfully create a problem. Recreating the NC code and running the simulator. This time, as you can see, instead of a green pass signal, we got a red fail signal due to excessive diving of the sizing tool along the smart cut toolpath. The regions where the issue is are also marked in red, visually making it obvious that we cannot send this code to an actual machine. We need to address the issue and get a green pass signal before we can send it to a machine. Let's fix the problem.
As you can see, the red mark along the seismic pool path disappeared and we got a green path signal. Even though this is not a machine simulator, as the simulator cannot know, at least for now, the details of your machine, this feature can detect common overdive conditions and proves practically useful. In this video, we talked about a new embedded simulation feature of ADECOCAM and what we can do with it to make the manufacturing safer and more fun. We simulated the NC code ADECOCAM generates both for a single door model as well as for a whole plate with many parts on. This way, we can early detect overdive conditions as well as inspect fine details of our custom door models in detail before actual manufacturing. Thank you for your attention.